is a very special show today because we are dedicating it to an Irish supergroup who have sold 44 million records worldwide, produced seven number one albums, won countless awards and stayed at the top of the charts for over 14 years. You know how much that means You found that special thing You're flying without wings You've announced that after 14 years you are splitting up. Surely it's not the end. Unfortunately, it is. Uh, not, not till next summer, obviously, after the farewell tour. But, yeah, it's, uh, next summer will be the end, unfortunately. Oh. Well, we're going to make the most of you while we've got you. <laughs> and now, uh, Mark, we're delighted that we have got you all here today. What are you going to perform for us? Um, we're doing two songs today, extra Yay! special. Um, we're doing Fly Without Wings and our brand-new single, Lighthouse. <laughs> Good, good. Well, we look forward to catching up with all the boys later, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, it is Westlife! <laughs> now we're going to be putting your questions to Westlife, so if you've got something to ask them, go to our website. Email us at loose.women at itv.com. Thank you very much there, Shane, and all of you. Uh, go to our Facebook page or tweet <laughs> us using the hashtag LooseWomen. Make sure you get in tweet touch. Tweet us. By you're very, very good. Uh, by 1.05 p.m. today. That's Monday the 14th of November. Where, do you know they should bring back Wheel of Fortune? They should bring back. Uh, but first, but first. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to Monday, the Loose Women, where today's show is dedicated to one of the greatest boy bands of all time. Yes, the boys are in town, it's Westlife! <laughs> today's show is dedicated to one of the most successful boy bands of all time. It was over 14 years ago they first got together, managed by none other than Louis Walsh. Now, after 44 million albums sold worldwide, 14 UK number one singles, 17, uh, 17, seven number one albums, uh, 10 sellout tours and a performance for the Pope, they have dramatically decided to call it a day. <gasps> Luckily, it's not before they treat us to an album that celebrates their greatest hits. You raise me Telling us what it feels like to be walking away from it all and reflecting on their successes. It's Shane and Nikki from Westlife. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't get that. What are they, what are they seeing you? Honestly. Uh, so how does it feel to be walking away from all that? Uh, it feels quite weird at the moment, yeah. to be honest, because we've, well, for us, we've known about it for obviously a good few months. We made the decision sure. kind of three or four months ago, but um, it does feel weird, you know, because everything we do now is the kind of the last time we do something as a band. Like yeah. last time we do Loose Women as a band, yeah. and, you know, every, every different no, thing. No, we're back tomorrow. Back tomorrow. Back tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How did it all come about, though? What, what sparked it? What started it? I think it was just, uh, it's inevitable after 14 years, you know, it's, it's something that. You know, we've been doing it, you know, daily, daily, daily for 14 years. And, and I think it's, it's one of those things where you just kind of look yourself in the mirror one time and, and speak to the lads and, and say, look, it's probably best to, to move on. We'd, we'd come to the end of a contract that um, we'd renegotiated over the, during the 14 years lots of times. 
and Sony really wanted to, to you know, do a new deal again, but it was just it was one of those things where we said, mm. just felt the no, we couldn't, right. we couldn't yeah. give the commitment to it, all of us. So. I think you've done it in such an amazing way. I mean, we recently saw Steps and how horrible it was there, split up, and it took them 10 years to get over it, but yeah. you're, I've well, just seen you, that you're all still best proper yeah, mates, yeah. No, aren't yeah, you? That's, and that's you've done best. it properly. Yeah, that's the best thing about it, you know, we are, our friendship is 100% intact, which is great, and um, it's kind of, I think it's more about just moving on with our lives and seeing what else is out there. Mm. I think we all want to do different things, and it's very hard to do that and do Westside, and, and be, you have to be 100% committed, committed to Westside. Sure. Yeah. What's been, because I remember years ago when Take That first ever split up, that there was kind of help, Take That fan helplines and things. I mean, oh. what's been the sort of initial reaction from, from the fans? We've spoken to a few of them earlier in, in here. What's been the reaction? Well, it's, it's been, the devastated. It's been, like, on Twitter and stuff like that for all of us, it's been really overwhelming and stuff, you know, but it's a different thing from when Take That did it, you know, that w our fan base isn't them, um, wouldn't be as young because we're going 14 years, it would have been young at one point, but not now. So fans, I think, you know, kind well, we've of... We've got a helpline at the end for people who want to help. They all need a helpline. I think we're, I think, I think we're the ones that need the helplines <laughs> You mentioned, of course, your, your greatest hits album. What sort of songs can people expect on there? Well, it's got all the, obviously, the 40 number ones. Um, luckily, I suppose, we've, we've got such a collage of, of, of number ones and, and hits like that. It's actually spread out over two albums. Um, yeah. It was very hard to pick which one to go on which, but it's uh, all, the, all the hits we've had over the years. We've had, like, 28 singles, I think, wow. released. And so have you kept Brian McFadden's voice on them? We have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like the exact same way they were made, yeah. There's some live versions on there as well of uh -huh. tracks we've done over the years, and they're like different, we've done different vocal arrangements for them and stuff oh, like and that. And was so that a, a conscious extra. decision? Did you think, no, this is how the fans first heard the record, we're going to keep it that way? Or? I think it's, yeah, I think it was uh, exactly that reason. I think, you know, they, they bought the single that way when, it, when Brian was in the band, and he was part of our band for six years, you know, so... You know, we have to, I suppose, you know, honour yeah. that as well. But you're um, all still really young now. So how old are you when you we started? We started when we were eight. We're <laughs> 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 32 now, you know, so it's, it's mad, you know. So how old were you when you had your first... You were eight when you had your first number? Uh, yeah, you know, we were uh, 18 when we started. Wow. 17, 17, 18 when we started, yeah. And your first number one was, um, what yeah, was it? Swear it again, yeah, number oh, one. Oh, wow. Four, and, 13 and years ago. How's yeah. Louis? What, what did he have to say? He was still not talking to us. He's yeah, devastated. He's devastated. <laughs> <laughs> he is genuinely devastated, yeah. Oh, I think we've... Did you, know, you, we were you together relationship. at the beginning, Louis? No, the boys, Shane, Mark and Keane, are from the west coast of Ireland, and they were in school together and put the band together originally. Right. Took it to Louis and got rid of a few lads and brought myself and Brian in uh, through auditions in Dublin. Uh, but, yeah, Louis, Louis's devastated, you know. He's, I think, for him, you know, we're, we, we kind of... Yeah. It's not going well, is it? <laughs> 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 Didn't talk about you. Have you spoken to him since Kitty's oh. left? Have you, have you no, texted no, him or anything? He's not going to speak to him. No, 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 there he is speaking to <laughs> him. But for, for about three or four weeks, he actually didn't talk to any of us because he was talking. He, and I was like, Why did, what, what's wrong with And he's like, I thought you changed your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't have a bad week. Uh, but no, it's, uh, really? So you, you've performed in front of some amazing people. I mean, I mentioned, of course, you performed in front of the Pope. Who would see? As, who would you see as your most incredible um, person that you've performed in front of? I think the loose women girls. Isn't yeah. That? Yeah. 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 yeah, good. That was good. Now, really, <laughs> yeah. really, probably the Pope. We performed in yeah. front of the, the Queen as well, which is really nice. She came to Ireland for the visit there, the big historic visit. We performed yeah. for her, so that was pretty cool as well. But over That's the years, when we've done some amazing things, like you know, met Barack Obama on a couple wow. of occasions, and yeah. twice um, in one year actually, which is weird. We never met any other president, bef president before. Yeah. Uh huh. He's so never found then any secret. Oh, big time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booking us out for private gigs and everything. <laughs> yeah. Over the White, the White House. House. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to ask you. Both seem pretty laid back, but are any of you bossy? Bossy. Yeah. Who's the bossiest? Yeah. Do you think of the boss? Out, out of us two. Out of all of us. Out of all of you. Probably Keen or Mark. Probably Keen or Mark. Not here, like. <laughs> they're, they're watching. They're watching backstage. Probably. Uh, probably. Probably Keen. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about in your in your marriages? Do you have? Do you have like a one? Is you you as bossy or you? I'm, you're not I'm not the boss. Put it that way. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Good answer, right. Okay, it's time for a break now, but uh, don't worry, we are going to be back in three when Shane and Nikki will be joined by Keen and Mark, and the boys are going to be singing the global hit <gasps> Flying Without Me. <laughs> Everybody's looking for that something. One thing makes it all. You find it in strange places, places you never knew it could be. 
Some find it in the face of their children. Some find it in the lover's eyes. Who can deny the joy it brings? But you found that special thing. You flying without a wing. Some find a chair in every morning Some in their solitary lives And you find it in the works of others yeah. And a simple line can make you laugh Oh, cry You find it in the deepest breath the kind you cherish all your life And when you know how much that means And you found that special thing You'll feel like it without wind There's no impossible Say I love you in any given time of relapse. today. <laughs> There's still loads of chat and music to come from this life, but for now it is competition time again and here are all the details that you need to get.